Welcome to today's piano tutorial of firm foundation in the key of C. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And if you want to learn the easiest and most effective way to play your favorite songs on piano in any key with chords, you can now check out my simplified piano course. In this course, you'll learn my simplified method to playing piano and learn the best techniques on how to sound like a pro. You'll also discover how to get song sheets for free without needing to read any notes on a staff or learn endless scales or drills. Learning piano just got a whole lot easier, faster, and fun. So if you want to learn more or would like to check out the other courses available that are included with your subscription for free, head on over to my website in the description box below and get started learning today. We're going to start by learning four basic chords, which are F major, which I'll be playing below middle C, starting with F, A, and C, F major, followed up one position for G major, which consists of G, B, and D, G major, and then move up one more position for A minor, which consists of A, C, and E, A minor. So again, that's F major, G major, and A minor. And now our last chord is C major, which consists of the three notes C, E, and G. But if you guys know me, instead of having that G on the top, what we're going to do is put it down to the bottom. This becomes C major in second inversion and is right next to our other chords, so there's no need to be making any big jumps. It sounds a lot nicer too. All right, moving on to our left hand, which will place an F position for the entire song, which means that our pinky will rest on F and our thumb on C. So hands together, each of those chords will look like F major, G major, A minor, and C major. And for our last chord we'll be looking at is a slash chord, which is C slash E, which simply means that we're going to play a C major chord in the right hand with an E in the bass, which we'll play with our pinky. So think of that as a C major over E in the bass chord. And it'll sound like... By putting that E, which is the third note in the key of C in the bass, it adds a lot of texture to our sound. So again, when you see that C slash E chord, just know to play a C major chord in the right hand with an E in the bass. This is optional, so if you don't want to play that, you can still play a C major chord in the right hand with a C in the bass. But with a little bit of practice, it'll make a huge difference in your sound, so I hope you can learn it. Alright, now let's look at our chord progression for verse number 1, which is exactly the same for all the other verses. Starting with C major for four counts, then A minor and G major for two counts, and then that repeats. Then we have F major for two counts, and then our C slash E slash chord for two counts, or if you don't want to do that, just play a regular C chord, and then A minor and G major for two counts, and that repeats. Let's try that nice and slow from the beginning of our verse one with C major for just the right hand. Ready? C, two, three, four, A minor, two, down to G, two, C, two, three, four, A minor, two, G, two, down to F, two, C slash E, two, A minor, two, G, two, again, F, 2, C, 2, A minor, 2, G, 2. Now notice from C major to A minor, all we have to do is move our thumb up by 1. C major, A minor. Again, C major, moving up the thumb, A minor. And from G major to C major, the thumb stays exactly the same. G major, C major. Again, G major, thumb stays the same, C major. 
Great, now let's try that hands together. And for rhythm, what we'll do is play both hands together on the first beat of each chord and then repeat the right hand on each count. You can also alternate between the right and the left hand for some added momentum. And if you'd like to hear what that sounds like, make sure to click the video in the description box below for part two of the play along video so you can hear how that sounds and feel free to play along with me. All right, now let's try that hands together from the beginning of our verse with C major for four counts, nice and slow. Ready? C, two, three, four, A minor, two, G, two, again, C, two, three, four, A minor, two, G major, two, down to F, two, C slash E, two, A minor, two, down to G, two, again, F, two, C slash E, two, A minor, two, G, two. All right, moving on to our half chorus, all we have to do is play C major for eight counts. Or for an added effect, what I like to do is play C major for four counts and then add a C sus four for four counts. When you see C sus four, that simply means we'll just be adding an F in the right hand. So it'll look like C major and then C sus four will be adding that pinky up for F. C major. C sus4. Essentially what we're doing is sustaining that C major chord and adding the fourth of C, which is F. One, two, three, four. So hands together from the beginning of our half chorus, it'll look like C, two, three, four, moving up the pinky, two, three, four, that repeats, C, two, three, four, C sus four. All right, moving on to verse number two, we can play it exactly the same as verse number one, or for an added effect on that second line, instead of starting with C major for four counts, what we can do instead is add a walking bass line in the left hand going down with some different chords in the right hand. Starting with F major, then C slash E, then D minor, which I'll show in just a minute how to play, and then C major for two counts. So D minor consists of the three notes D, F, and A. But if you guys know me, instead of playing that D with a thumb, what I like to do is move it to the top, making this D minor in first inversion. That way there's no need to be making any big jumps. and it sounds a lot nicer too. Also, our D minor chord is sandwiched in between two C major chords. So from C major to D minor, all we have to do is move up our thumb and our pinky, which are our top and our bottom notes, down and up by one step like so. C major, D minor. Again, C major, D minor. Now adding the middle notes, C major, D minor, again C major, moving up and down those top notes, D minor. And for that walking bass line, all we'll do with our left hand is just move the pinky down for each one of those chords, starting with F, then E, then D, then C. So with hands together, that'll look like starting with F, then C slash E, then D minor, then C. Again, F major, C slash E, D minor, C. Again, this is optional, so you can just play C major for four counts, but with a little bit of practice, it makes a huge difference in our sound, so I hope you can learn it. All right, now let's try that from the beginning of verse number two with both hands with that walking bass line so you can see how that sounds. Starting with C major for four counts. Ready? C, two, three, four. 
A minor, 2, G, 2, F, C slash E, D minor, C, 2, up to A, 2, down to G, 2, down to F, 2, C slash E, 2, up to A, 2, down to G, 2, that repeats, F, 2, C slash E, 2, A minor, 2, G, 2. From here, we'll move on to our full chorus, which starts with C major for four counts, then C sus four for four counts, and then our second line, we'll play an A minor and G major for only one count, and then F major for two counts, and that repeats. Let's play that with hands together from the beginning of our full chorus with C major for four counts. Ready? C, two, three, four, C sus four, two, three, four, A minor, G, F, two, again, A minor, G, F, two. Now for a fancier and quicker chord progression, what I like to do, which is especially good for the repeat of the chorus as our second chorus, is instead of playing that A minor G to F in that second and third line, is instead play A minor, then G major, then C major, then E minor, and then F major for two counts. Now to make that E minor, all we'll do is play G, B, and E, making this E minor in first inversion, and it's almost exactly like our C major chord, but all we have to do is play our B with our second finger. So instead of this, which is C major, from C major to E minor, all we have to do is play our second finger on B. Notice how the bottom and the top notes are exactly the same. Again, C major, E minor. And for the left hand, we'll just play that E with the pinky like so. So, hands together from the beginning, starting from A minor to G, then C, then E minor, then F, it'll look like A minor, G, C, E minor, F, 2. Again, A minor, G, C, E minor, F. Again, this is optional, so you can simply just play A minor, then G, then F, but with a little bit of practice, it'll definitely make a difference in your sound. All right, moving on to our bridge, which starts with F major for two counts, then G major for two counts, then C slash E chord, or C major for two counts, and then A minor and G major for one count each, and that just repeats. We can repeat this bridge as many times as we like, and for the vamp or extension of bridge number one, it's exactly the same chords, just different lyrics. So hands together from the beginning of our bridge, that'll look like F major, 2, G major, 2, C slash E, 2, A minor, down to G, again, F, 2, G major, 2, C slash E, 2, A minor, to G, that keeps just repeating, F, 2, up to G, 2, C slash E, 2, A minor, G again, F, 2, G major, 2, C slash E, and if this is the last time we would do it, we would just end with F, 2, three, four, and then go back into our chorus. And that's it guys. If you'd like to hear those chords with vocals, click the video in the description box below for part two of this video and feel free to play along with me. And that's it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and comment down below with what your favorite worship song is that you'd like to see me do next. Love you guys and see you next time.